Today I'm putting to the test whether or not it's okay to pour your mead from one vessel to another after fermentation. Let's get started. So today's video is very simple. I have here in front of me a gallon of mead that is two months old from, it started two months ago. So this is out of primary, already done fermenting. It's in its stage where it should be aging. Now, we are putting this uh, theory to the test that it is okay to um, rack your mead via just pouring it into another vessel. If you know much about mead making, generally speaking, most people would dissuade you from doing this because of oxygen. When you pour things into another thing, you add oxygen. And of course, oxygen is not what you want in your brew. So what I've done here is I have this whole gallon of mead and I'll put the recipe for it right here. I have two half gallon containers. I am going to rack a half gallon of it into here using an auto siphon and tubing which theoretically would not allow for any oxygen or at least a limited amount of oxygen to reach the mead. And then the other one, I'm gonna use this funnel right here and I'm going to put it on top and just pour it just from one to another. We're gonna wait probably a couple weeks at least, let them set for a while longer. And then I'm gonna do a triangle test to see if we can pick out the one that was poured or the one that was not poured. So let me go ahead and rack these into this container. All right, as you can see, I've gone ahead and done it. I have labeled them. This is the auto siphon one. This is the one that I poured. We're gonna wait a couple weeks. We're gonna come back and taste test them. Now, um, I don't know what the results will be. I don't wanna guess just yet. Let's just talk about them. So let's go ahead and zoom ahead to the tasting. So I actually decided to do this twice. I'm gonna do this with a quote, fresh mead as well. I'm making this mead you see on screen with the recipe on screen. And I am going to rack it into a half gallon container after the primary and I will rack it via the pouring method and then the regular auto siphon method. Um, I will keep that going for the entirety of the fermentation or racking stage and then we'll taste test. All right, here we are for the taste test. I have Mike and I have Carlos in from Texas, flown them in, paid the big bills, they came <laughs> on down. Um, they're gonna hear, hear, here to help me with the taste test of this. So gentlemen, I explained to you what happened with this. They've already seen it. We're gonna do round, I'm gonna call it round one. So this is the very first version that I did. We are doing a triangle test, meaning that there are two um, auto siphoned versions here and there's one that is poured. And so our goal is to taste test and see if we can find any difference. Theoretically, there might be a difference, but that's what we're here for. So let's go ahead and get to tasting. And when you think you found the one, if there's a difference, you just put it up at the front. We'll just do that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do some tasting. So what do you think, when you say you think you found yours, what are you noting there? The, like the way it hits your tongue, like the, the way it coats the tongue is different. Mm -hmm. uh, like these two seem the same. Like these two seem the same. And this one, I'm not saying it's like acidic, but the the, the way it coats the tongue is completely different. See, I, I feel like I have two acidic ones. I see what you're saying about the acid. I think I have two acidic ones and I have one that's not as yeah. acidic. Well, it, it, it just like my perception, like the way it coats mm -hmm. the tongue. Mm -hmm. I got one that's kind of watery. Mm hmm. That's that one's my guess. This, oh, these were these, kind of both close, but this one. So if there's two auto siphon and one not, yes. My guess is these two are the auto siphon ones. Okay. That one's not. How did it hit your tongue specifically? Like, other than acidic. Well, like I said, it, it, it's like the acidity changed on it. I, like, it seems like it's a little bit more pronounced because the way it overall develops on the tongue is different. Like it's acidic but flat versus the one that's auto siphon is a little bit more well-rounded. 
So you think so? You had two of them that were acidic, or are you saying there was no? One? There's one that's more acidic than the other two, the way it perceived. Okay, this but it was too. flat on my tongue, like versus rounded. If that makes sense. No, I, I follow you. So, I I think so. Uh, knowing that there are two auto siphon it smells different. Too. I, what you're saying seems. Like I'm getting almost the opposite. I'm getting more acidity coming from the ones that were, I think are auto siphoned mm -hmm. versus the one that's poured. I feel like it's a, not as a, as acidic and more, like you said, it's kind of watery, yeah, flabby. I don't so, know, it doesn't have as much body to it. Yeah, the like, first two hit my tongue. Like, th this this is the one I think is poured and this is the one that I think is auto siphoned. Yeah. And like, it smells different. Yeah, a little bit. You want to try to smell that and see if you smell the difference? This is, yeah. that one's the one that I think is. I get, yeah, I get a little bit. But again, that's, that's mm. just me. <clears throat> this is one of those things that I feel like if I'm wrong, like it's going to be a little bit embarrassing. Having taste tested <laughs> so much meat didn't be able to, but. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go with my gut. I think yeah. that this one, for me, is the one that was poured, but. Yeah. Let's, let's do like a grand reveal. So start with your first one. Let's see if these two are clear. Theoretically, auto siphoned. Okay, I got one auto siphoned. I got a one. <laughs> Poor <right> off the bat. <laughs> I got and I got. I got out. Yeah, auto siphoned. Yeah, this which is, means that's yeah, poured. Uh huh. So you got yours. And okay, so you. mine, mine was the opposite. It's one of the most watery. Came so now that you water. know that we taste test those and see. Oh, I guess you don't have. I guess uh, I was gonna say taste test them. Anyways, so I I felt like this one is just more flabby, more watery. Yeah. I don't really know. This is this is the first round though. So yeah. so, so like I said, it, it, were it you felt right then. Yes. Uh, so yeah, that, Sorry. I got mine. This this is the poured one yeah, for me. That's so the one that was kind of watery or whatever yeah. you believe was the same. Interesting. But yeah. again, palette is all yeah. different. Yeah, that's know? true. Like I said, that, it was things. noticeably different to me though. It was weird. The yeah. first two, the second one was like kind of tastes like the first one. The third one was just. So you, maybe it's because you got me thinking when you're like talking about it on your tongue. Oh yeah. Immediately my brain was like, oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, like I said, that one is completely <laughs> flat on the tongue. This is like rounded and a little bit developed, I yeah. guess you can say. I think that mm -hmm. oxygen possibly could. Um, well, like the flatness, you can also, because like these ones, it it's rounded, so you get like the overall character, whereas like the flat one, you, the character is gone because it's starting to oxidize from pouring. Yes. And so mm -hmm. that's where it's, it's falling flat. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go to round two. Let's see if we can figure out or try this next one. So this is the... The uh, younger one. This was the older version, so oh. this one's probably four or five months old. This next one's two months old. Um, all right, here we are for the second round. Again, this is the younger version, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. We have two auto siphoned versions somewhere in here, and one poured version. Here we go. I'm gonna get a nose. This one's way more fragrant. Oh yeah. I don't remember what kinds of honey I use for these, so. Oh, yeah, caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> has way more. Um, oh, right off the bat, I know which one it is. Sweetness. Let's try this one. A lot of tannic, like acidity with this yeah. one. Ooh, man. Mm. Yeah, I think I can taste the difference right off the bat. What are you getting right off the bat? It's flat versus the acidity. Yeah. Like straight off, the, like I did. These were the first two I grabbed. This yep. one acidic, and this one was straight flat. And I was like, oh, I can almost guarantee you. And based off of that one, that's the <coughs> that's the poured one. So BC and I, <laughs> yes, yeah. this this has happened twice now in my world where I've made a traditional, and then somehow in the process mm. it's gotten extra acidic. Yeah. Okay. So the one that's more flat, not as acidic. Yeah, the one that's yeah. flat, and to me, <coughs> is the one that, that's like, it's oh. completely different than the aged one. Yeah. Whereas the one that was poured, to me, on the tongue was acidic, but flat. Yeah. The fresh ones, the ones that were, the one that was poured, is flat and not acidic at all, whereas the two fret, the auto siphon ones are still acidic. Yeah, I think that, which, you know, some people mm -hmm. might say that the acidity, like, Having the oxygenation breaking down the acidity is like nice, but I would say that there are byproducts that come with oxygenation. That, oh, yeah. Aside from maybe tempering down acidity. Um, 
I do notice notice that as well. These are this is a way different meat than the previous yeah. one, which I'm glad yeah. it is because it yeah makes this a little more yeah. difficult. Do you guys get anything on the nose? Any difference between them? There was one. The yeah. Well, I don't know where it is now. Like I said, this this is to me this is the the port one, like the one that is mm -hmm. auto siphon. Yeah. Is more floral, has more aromatics, whereas the one that's poured. The aromatics are lost, and you can start to tell that the floral note from the honey is starting to fade out. Yeah, one of them I can smell. The, this front one that, I, when I put it front, I just smell honey. Yeah. While the other ones I smell more of, like the esters. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. There's. I can't explain the funk exactly, but there's a funk <laughs> with this first one. Okay. Well. All right. Let's see what happens. So first one. A2. 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 All right. So so far. <laughs> A2. A2. Here we go. Right. <laughs> we made it. So that it. means all that's right. B2. Yeah, so that's this, B2. we all so. figured out then which one was the poured version. Yeah. And I mean, I think if we're, if we got our averages, we're five for six. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, now I, this whole video is a, is a, a PSA to say, take care of your meads. Well, this one is not necessarily bad. I wouldn't say, not say that it's like, Right now, no, it's not no. bad. But if you leave it, say for instance, you get some mm -hmm. more sediment that you want to pour off, yeah. now you're going to start causing issues after that. And I've only, I'm trying to think backwards a little bit, I think I've only racked this over once mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah, so just, if you were to do it multiple times, then you're just introducing more and more oxygen. Okay. It is super cheap to get an auto siphon, and it will last you forever unless you break it. Yeah. And so, I mean, I'm always going to promote you're always going to promote well. people to use auto siphons because it's it's just easier. Um, hopefully this test has opened people's eyes a little bit. Don't pour your meads, um, even if you think that's the best thing for you. Um, I do know that there are going to be people in the comments of this who are going to say, well, you, you poured it through a funnel and not just, you know, in the side of the container. And you're right, but you're still introducing oxygen regardless of how you do it. So find a way to do it with less oxygen. That's with an auto siphon. Yeah. Sure. Guys, thank you for your help. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this, uh, my meat science brain, I'm sure your meat science brain right now, you know, I was kind of geeking out about this moment. Oh, so. yeah. But this has been a lot of fun. Um, go check out Carlos. His uh, channel is Texas Longhouse Mead. <laughs> this is my cobra. <laughs> Sorry. You can, um, you can find his stuff down below. I'll make sure and tag him. But again, thank you guys for your help. And, uh, you know, I think you'll be in another video very soon. So, <laughs> see you guys. Maybe.